So today we're gonna to go from this look here with very blown out skies to this look here. And we're gonna do it all in the color page. We're not gonna use fusion at all. So let's jump in resolve and see what we can do. G'day and welcome back. So today we're looking at the sky replacement in DaVinci Resolve 18.5. Now we're gonna do everything in the color page today, even the clouds. That's right, we're not using anything from outside of Resolve. Resolve is gonna do it all itself, which is pretty amazing. So we have our footage here, which we have a very funky looking sky. That is because I'm using highlight recovery mode down here. So if I take this off, as you can see, we're just getting a really blown out sky. So I thought I'd leave it on just to get a little bit more information, even though it looks kind of terrible. So first of all, I've just done a slight grade on this footage. So if we turn this note off, as you can see, our highlights are right at the top and we're pushing a lot of those darker areas up. So all I've done is brought those darker areas down, gave the footage a slight balance and just a little bit of contrast and saturation. Nothing too major. I thought I'd actually keep it pretty simple. What we're gonna do, we're gonna make a new node. So Alt S, that'll make a serial node. Now in this node here, we're gonna key at the sky. So let's go to our keyer. Now we're gonna use the 3D keyer because I like that one a lot and I feel like it works a lot better. So we're gonna click our left mouse and drag till we have a pretty good selection. You can either press Shift H to bring up your selection or you can come up to here and this is your highlight selection, which used to be magic wand, but now it's this little icon here. So this is our selection here. And as you can see, we have some issues. So we need to highlight this a bit better and we need to get this a little bit better. But before we're gonna do that, what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna build a power window and we're gonna use the pen tool, which is the best out of all the power windows. Now, if you don't see your selection, just come down here to this little arrow and then come down to power window and that'll turn on your selection. We're just gonna make a simple power window around the edges. Now I'm gonna leave this visible because then we get that sky through our trees, which will make it more believable. And then let's go up here. Okay, so now we have a better selection and that should help us out a fair bit. Now let's always make the power window soft. So just soften that a little bit on the inside and the outside. We can always come back to the selection, so don't stress too much. Now, going back to our qualify here, what we can do, we can actually add more points in. So come down to your little plus sign here, click drag a little bit, then a little bit up here. Now we have a very good looking selection here. Now let's go to our power window and just fix this area up. Now let's go to map finesse and let's just Playing around with it till we get a better selection. Blow radius is always a good one. So our selection looks really good, but we can always come back to this. So let's not stress too much. So in this node here, we have to make an outside node. So you can either come up to color, nodes, and then outside node. Now we have our selection here and it looks not too bad. We can always finesse this later on. Alrighty, so for our next step, come up to effects and then type in sky. And then it'll get you the sky replacement. Now bring it down, don't connect it up. So bring it down to your empty patch here and we'll get rid of the effects for now. Now what we're gonna do, we need this key into here. So a little blue square into triangle and then this little bad boy into here and this little bad boy. So a green triangle into green box. Now, as you can see, we have a black sky. So that looks amazing. So that's it for the tutorial. I hope you liked it. It looks fantastic. In our sky replacement, let's go to effects. All right, so this is where we start making our adjustments. So on the sky mask adjustments, we can actually finesse that power window we did. So there looks pretty good. And just playing around till we get a nice selection. Alrighty, so now let's go down to artificial sky. So under sky opacity, crank that bad boy right up. Now if we preview our sky, so as you can see, we have a gradient from white to blue. Now this is the horizon. So if you wanted to change your horizon, you'd come to horizon height. So it could start higher, of course, or it could start lower. So I think about there looks pretty good, but of course we'll come back and make adjustments to this. So let's not stress too much. And of course you can change the softness of your horizon. It can only be one thick line, which looks ridiculous. So we'll make that really soft. 
And you can also change the angle of your horizon. And I'm not sure why you'd ever change the angle, but it's there. Let's take that off. So that's our sky for the moment. Looks pretty pox. So we need to blend it in a little bit better. So it's obviously way too blue. So we can just bring it down till we get a lighter kind of blue. Now let's look at our horizon height and then see if we need to bring it up a little bit or down. So that looks pretty good. We'll call that good for now. Now here comes the fun part. Let's make some clouds. So in cloud opacity, let's crank that right up. And as you can see, we already have some clouds, which looks fantastic. So you can make a lot of adjustments with your clouds. You can even push that cloud detail up. But then you'll get some funky looking clouds, which I'm not the biggest fan of. So we'll just bring that down. That looks pretty good. And then we have scale, which of course would represent how close you are to the clouds. So we'll say about there looks pretty good. Now let's change our tilt because it looks kind of strange. Okay, looks a bit better. And you have cloud fill, so how much cloud you want in your sky. I won't actually see the cloud, so I'm going to bring it back down. Now cloud contrast. All these are very exciting options. I feel like that is pretty good because it's hiding some of our defects with our key. And then cloud time. <laughs> It's cloud time, which changes the noise pattern of your clouds. So I think, I think there looks really good. You can actually add a hotspot, which would be there, but obviously it looks pretty terrible. So we'll just take that right off, to be honest. Now, if this footage was moving, we'd need to track it. So we'd come down to sky position here and track it. So today our footage isn't actually moving, so we don't need to track it. But in future videos, I think we'll do some videos where the camera is moving, so we'll have to do some tracking. But for now, we're just gonna do a nice, simple, basic sky replacement. Now, sky integration has got to do with your camera you use. So let's say you used a fish-eyed lens. You might wanna push it right up, give it a more curved look to it. And I mean, they're both curved, but we'll just leave that off for now. It looks pretty good to me. Now, foreground appearance, I feel like this is a really good tool so we're going to go to adjust foreground. We can change the brightness of this area here. Okay. So we could push it up or down. Let's push it up like so. You can actually take saturation out like that. So as you can see, this is very desaturated now compared to this area. So I reckon about there looks pretty good. So temperature is a really handy one because this would represent where the sun is sitting in the day. So at the moment, it's around about 11 o'clock in the morning. So the temperature would be 56K, meaning daylight. But I feel like if we pushed it down just a little bit, that sort of fits the scene a lot better. And then tint is obviously magenta or green. So I'll just leave that for now. It looks pretty good. So global blend is how much you want that sky to blend with your original image. So obviously all the way down, you're not using it at all. And then all the way up, you're using it. So I think that's really good. And then what you could do from here is make a new node. So Alt S again, get rid of these effects, clean this up. So now if I were to make any adjustments in this image, it affects the complete image. So if I push this up, obviously I'm pushing up that sky too. So we could just bring this down a little bit, push this up slightly. Then we could make it a little bit warmer, make it a little bit more interesting. Then what we could do, this wasn't a grading video, but I thought I'd do something real quick. We could accentuate this light to give the image a little bit more life to it. And then we need to qualify this, Shift H. As you can see, we have a poxy, poxy key. That is an easy fix. And let's soften this selection out. It's always important. Do this real quick. Let's go to our gain, push some more warmth into it, and even play around a little bit. Now we need to take it off this door. I don't know what's going on there. Let's soften it right out. So that's what it looks like before. 
And that's what it looks like afterwards. So we're just building a little bit of interest in this scene. Now, if we were to take the sky node off, so that's what it looks like without the adjustment made to the sky. And that's what it looks like with the sky adjustment. So I don't think it's actually perfect. We're missing some power lines over here. And I feel like the sky isn't quite blended into our scene. It looks a little bit artificial, but if we went back to finesse this image, I feel like we could get a really good looking sky for something that you don't actually have to use outside footage. So that's pretty good in my opinion. But what do you guys think? Do you think it's a good thing you would use or something you would probably never use? Or would you use it, but then just use sky that you would get from a different source? Anyway, let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you want to see anything else. Thanks for watching. I've been Drew from Gingo Productions. Have a great day.